Hi right, guys, David Texas again today. Hey, two videos in a day. That's a new record. Uh, this is for Guitar Ron. Dude! <laughs> yeah, they make fake basses in China. They make Ricks. And look at this thing! It's a Les Paul fake bass. And this one, believe it or not, is as close as it comes to not, without being a counterfeit. I mean, damn, this thing is close. Alright, look at this. It's got a beautiful burst on it. It's a double burst, right? I'm trying to show you all this, I can show you. It is absolutely a beautiful guitar. Look at this. Look at his head. Ah, his head stock. Let's go back to this. A nice Gibson inlaid logo on this thing. Nice uh, tuning keys. This one came with a triple, oh, screws in the uh, truss rod cover, which is a big mistake. So I just put a double one on there. This is Les Paul Standard, right? Make it more fakey, fakey. And figures, these are fake uh, active pups. These are not fake. These are not real active. They're fakes. Okay? I got this set on the front uh, or the neck, right? I hope that's coming through. These are actually, I think, singles, uh, single wound because of uh, the size of them. Also, the fact that uh, they just hum like friggin' crazy. I mean, damn. Now, I'm not replace these pups because they sounded good on a uh, demo bass I borrowed, right? But I don't own, sorry, demo bass, a demo uh, bass amp. I don't own a bass amp. I never thought I'd need one. Really, I don't. I'm playing these through my monitors right now, my professional monitors, those big monsters up there. They act as an excellent bass amp. <laughs> As I tell Ron, <laughs> the sad part, uh, that's the front. This is both of them. I only know three songs on the bass. <laughs> that's from years back when I had to play a bass. And the bass player had to play a piano, right? And I actually played back then a Rickenbacker. It was his. This is a Les Paul regular sized bass guitar. You follow me? Now the ones they sell are the oversized Les Paul bass guitars. This thing weighs 14 and a half pounds. This thing weighs a ton. It's like, damn, this thing's heavy. And it's made out of, uh, this I'm told is just plain maple, the next solid maple, and the back's mahogany. And, dude, there's nothing on this guitar but solid wood. Like I said, it weighs a friggin' ton. Uh, headstock is the uh, right uh, shape, right size, right everything. The logo is everything right. Uh, the nut's a little bit off, but that's to be expected. Uh, the pups are fakes. They're not really active. There's no place to put a battery in this thing. And the bridge is not right. But, as far as the wood's concerned, if you put on a different bridge, excuse me, I rearranged myself in the seat. If you put on a different bridge to a few other things about the counterfeitness of this thing or the fakeness of it, it would become a counterfeit. I mean, it would look exactly like a Les Paul old style bass. You get me? There's hardly anything different in it. And the fact that hardly anybody owns one of these things is because of Les Paul makes a terrible bass. It's not just electronics in it, uh, that they do a much better job with. Um, uh, pups back then, but it's because of history. Uh, the Gibson Les Paul bass was always a turkey, right? And the reason it was a turkey is because it was so unbalanced. I mean, this body here weighs nothing compared to the neck and the head. This thing is always like, Rrr. damn neck heavy, damn neck heavy. Uh, this one has not been light weight or weight adjusted because it weighs a friggin' ton. Uh, this is on the uh, bridge pup. That's the 
that's all I know. Uh, that and, uh... No, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah. That's it. That's my entire repertoire on a bass. Three songs. That one from, um, I don't remember who the hell does that. That one that goes rip, rip, rip. The one that goes rip. That one. And this one. I think I'm playing the wrong notes. Anyway, and that one. And this one is just all rock and roll. That's it. Okay? Now, Ron, here is your fake bass. And this one is absolutely almost counterfeit. It is so close being real and I'm not kidding you it's it's scary and uh, it's a beautiful guitar too it's an excellent bass I've had it on a bass amp and let an actual bass player play it he played one of those uh, bleed bass uh, things it's like he's slapping the shit out of this thing but dude don't break it it's brand new <laughs> so wait a minute go ahead break it play that motherfucker slap that bitch I have no idea how they do that. Anyway, Dave in Texas, any questions about the fake? Let's fall bases, let me know. Because here is one right shire. Right? And have some bass players call me up or write me up because I sure could ask them a few questions about bases. Especially how they do that slapping popping thing. Bye.